Look, there wasn't a lot to do in Brisbane in the late 80s, so I think we just spent a lot of time hanging out at each other's houses, going to the movies, pretending to study, um, hatching plans to make boys fall in love with us, that kind of, perming our hair, that's what we were doing. It was the 80s, we were perming it. We spent a lot of time perming our hair in the 80s, that's what we did. I can remember being in Year 12 like it was yesterday. So I remember, I do certainly remember feeling stressed. That stress of being reduced as an individual to a number, I remember that feeling. And just worrying about what, worrying about what impact that number was gonna have on my life. I have done all kinds of things since Year 12 that I never would have dreamt of. I wrote about three novels, um, then I became a newspaper columnist, um, I did some TV script writing. I then moved to London for a year and did different jobs and I came back and I became a travel writer. So I travelled the world for free and got to write about my adventures. I'm also an ambassador for a great initiative called Team Girls, which is um, a partnership between Suncorp, Reach Out and Netball Australia. And it's all about, it's a campaign I think it's gonna go for five years, about creating a nation of confident girls. What I say to teenagers is that you are not going to be a success or a failure based on your U12 score. It just doesn't work that way. And so I just think we need to take the pressure off ourselves into thinking that that score is going to define everything because all it is, it's, it's a moment in time. And I can tell you that not one employer has ever asked me, no one has ever asked me what my score was. But that said, even if it com you completely bomb out, there is still gonna be a path forward, always, always.